it's very easy to configure active standby box so this is our self self ip address is coming here whatever name we have given for this box it is reflecting here stating like it is a self so click on that so now you will see here option sync click on sync config sync here you need to select ha this will be our uh, sync i mean this is a sync interface so we need to select this one so that all connection will be synced i mean between two two boxes all connection will be transferred update it here so now it is updated go to network failover so uh, this is a network failover configuration so here we need to add network failover so in this way like uh, we can select ha first so network failover means let me show you and define like uh, how it works if we are going to do sync failover then only this interface will be point of failure like if it goes down then it, uh, this fi box act li uh, like uh, this is active primary will become active and secondary will become active so uh, network will be like uh, let's suppose this uh, this is a user i mean this is server and uh, is a processing sub request so it may go down it may goes i mean it may go down uh, for that connection so connection will be lost if uh, there is no connectivity between them and they'll start uh, passing connection to out uh, out of user let's suppose this user is accessing some url will come through this one and uh, then uh, this uh, server will be confused like where to send the traffic okay so this thing and your floating ip address will be working on round and robin basis so definitely your connection will be lost that's the reason we have selected uh, high availability interface or i would suggest you to do network failover with internal interface or you can select your management interface here internal or management internal means uh, all internal will uh, user will be i mean in a sync let's suppose this uh, cable or maybe uh, this this is having unplugged or something happened there would be some issue with between, between this two i mean devices wire uh, went wrong so uh, it works as a failover using network connectivity so it will fail over with uh, from this uh, server connection okay so there would not be outage because there is a two point of failure first let's suppose directly connected wire went wrong so um, network connection will uh, serve the same thing what it is sync interface is doing so our sync interface will be internal now and uh, this is a directly connected it means there is a two point of failure now so i would suggest you to uh, configure for either management or lan so both interface will not go down together so select it here as a management i am selecting same config configuration you need to go on secondary box and you need to perform same thing so go to device management device and then you need to select let, let it become the self ip self uh, name i have given here then one more thing i forgot to do like let it be complete let me show you multicast failover multicast if you are not selecting then uh, unicast will happen you must have understanding what unicast and multicast if you don't understand then go to youtube and learn how it is multicast and unicast uh, work let me uh, give you some uh, brief here let's suppose this uh, this uh, traffic between this two uh, ldm box connection traffic i am talking about so some uh, if we have configured unicast then it will work one to one connection so 
unicast means one to one communication okay and multicast means one to many so if you are not configuring multicast here then uh, this link will send one to one means unicast so it will not understand this internal link so uh, failover will not work that's the reason i am doing multicast so that this interface will send hello packet to uh, this uh, interface from this way and this way as well okay so we are doing a network failover also so multicast using multicast will so both packet both way it will go so just update it here same way you need to perform here go to sync config sync option select ha and update it and then you need to go for network failover okay and select similar interface what you have configured there in first box okay otherwise it will not work failover will work but once uh, let me show you once this failover uh, connection lost you will not able to hit this because it is mismatching your configuration is mismatching uh, this box will send traffic to uh, management and this will send to LAN so it would create a problem so that I am suggesting you to configure in right way and select right interface here in network failover okay. add it here we have selected HA and then uh, we have selected internal sorry not internal uh, we have selected uh, management interface here as a failover link secondary failover link we can say here come on so add management as well management ip should be here because we have selected in first box as a management okay sorry uh, yes we we are having this ip address for management press finished and then select multicast i described uh, like uh, how multicast work so you need to select multicast address as well so updated need to select enable multicast so if someone is asking multicast address so this is a multicast address 224.0.0.245 okay it works on this port so we have done basic configuration here i think this is done okay this is updated now yes enable go to uh, if you want to make uh, this box five box as a secondary then you need to do configuration from here now or if you want to make this as an active box then you need to configure now from here so what i'm going to do I'll make this box, uh, this five box as a secondary. So how to do? Go to device trust, select peer list. Okay. So in peer list, you need to add this device information we need to retrieve from this box. There should be connectivity between these two box, primary and secondary, because we have plugged cable and it is communicating. Just ping and just check it, okay, in your scenario. So our management IP for second secondary box is 10.12.1.6. You need to give management IP address. Sorry, uh, username and password, administrator, uh, administrative username and password here and just retrieve device information click on this 
there should be connectivity uh, between this two device when you are going to configure this okay before that you need to check connectivity i would suggest you to go and ping and just test it okay so we are having connectivity so that we have got all information even device name also it is coming here so finish it here so for now it is it will take time uh, for now uh, this is this box is acting like a standalone box and working as active here same way you will see this box is uh, it will uh, connect uh, just a minute this this is will be active and standalone okay come on it will come in some time where this is not disconnected uh, this is a running box we are getting all information let me check if it is rebooted or what okay this box is running domain trust only if you see we are going to create trust this box is also okay trust to domain uh, only so go here we are in see this is active showing active now in sync okay so this is in sync and showing active you come on this box so this is also sync and this is active in sync because we have already initiated connection i mean between these two we have added a peer here and they are communicating to each other we done finished okay so this is done so go to device group now we need to say uh, to this device like like what will be our group name and then we can give here <coughs> You can create here name so name you can give anything like target 20 so target 20 is our name group name what we are going to configure and then select sync fail over here if you want to add description add it here and select this two devices one is primary one is secondary you need to add it here so they are in member and here if you want network failover definitely i want fa uh, network failover i told you like how to do and then automatic sync and if you want to sync your box automatically you need to select this option and then update so usually we don't do because if you are making any mistake in standby box it will reflect to primary as well and uh, this is a save on automatic sync uh, when it will sync then it will automatically save to primary or secondary so this is a full sync so we don't need full sync because yeah, let's suppose a thousand of whip is there on secondary box and you are going to create one more so here what you do if you select this option then all whip will be updated again so it will process as a i mean what you call say you can say like uh, all uh, configuration will go to primary or if you don't select here then only incremental whatever con you have configured now that will be updated there so finish it here so only network failover you need to select so here you will see some changes changes like uh, we need to sync initial sync we need to create from here showing inactive it will show a uh, standby this will become a standby and this will be our primary box once it is done okay see here active active we're waiting for initial sync
okay continue and then we have almost done here we are almost done so we have created a group so only we need to do sync from this standby to active so go here so here awaiting initially sync initial sync okay select this self ip address here self means uh, your devices where you have made uh, changes so we are on primary box primary in the sense uh, f501 we are on this box this will become a standby so here you can see some option sync to uh, sync device to group okay so we will uh, sync from here to group group means this one group means we can create more uh, uh, number of uh, f5 and uh, that will uh, become like a backup let uh, let suppose in our scenario only two f5 is there if you want then you can increase uh, number of f5 until it goes eight it uh, f5 support uh, active and standby here if you it will come a uh, third device then that will become a backup device okay so we need to sync select this option and then sync if you are syncing from uh, sync group sync group means this secondary device to this one so we are not going to do this one because we have done changes on primary box so sync it from here sync option is coming select self device and then go and click on sync it takes some time oh time time value will come here once it is updated it will take some time because we are going to do first time so now you can see here login again sorry this become active just a minute let me check okay we have selected first then second okay this is in sync so our lab is successfully done what the thing is like we have synced from group that's the reason it become active and this box will become standby i think device group we have configured only one so 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 so, so it is showing active wait so we have done one mistake we have done traffic group we need to create otherwise it will become active active okay okay while configuring this we need to select this traffic group member otherwise it will become active and this is also active okay no device grip was okay what in sync okay it is taking time that's it i have not done any changes okay so device group is okay because by default device trust just let me show you this one traffic group is like uh, by default is created one only so it takes some time to come stand uh, stand alone i mean sorry uh, stand by and this is the active box so this one become active i told you like uh, this way you can configure here 
so in next lab we will configure uh, this one virtual server and all for now this is okay we have done successfully this lab so in your lab also if you are going to do this lab then you will definitely face this issue uh, it takes time it once it is updated it will take more than five minutes sometime to come a standby because we are on vmware sometime it happens like so this class is done so you can uh, go uh, and configure same way uh, you need not to check anything i mean change anything so uh, so this this way you can see like this is uh, online standby and this is inactive it is not processing request okay here you see green in sync and here you uh, you can see like uh, this is online serving connection okay so this way you can configure active standby failover so in active active uh, nothing is there only you need to create uh, some uh, let me show you this traffic group you need to configure one more and then you can configure active active i'll show you later on and we'll do this thing also but uh, as per our requirement this is done so i think i think i think that we are almost done but one thing i missed here uh, that is floating ip we need to configure floating ip now for floating ip go to secondary box mostly we do changes on secondary box and then uh, we do uh, i mean sync from here to there so go here select self ip address how to configure floating i'll tell you select self ip address it will come floating is nothing but it's virtual ip address virtual gateway for internal interface create sorry uh, yes uh, we are in interface only self ip address go there and from here you can create floating ip address so you can give floating ip address what we have given name like this is called floating floating internal and external so 10 i'm give, going to give here so give name like external floating ip address this is a virtual ip address for external interface so external we are using 172.17.0.10 in our case we will use here <clears throat> this is external interface select default allow and here you have to think like what traffic group it will use so this is non floating ip if you configure this way and if you go finish so it will become a self ip address if you are going to finish so this is non floating ip address is called self ip address if you want to configure floating ip address for traffic group one then you need to select this floating and then finish so our floating uh, external floating ip address is created so floating will work if if we have configured external so firewall will understand like there is a only one ip floating ip and it will communicate with this floating ip only let's suppose this device is active secondary device in our case our secondary device is active so it will serve connection on active device only and this will send to floating ip address this is virtual ip address and then virtual ip address will send to active box okay so this is done need to configure floating ip address for uh, that ip also i mean internal ip same way you need to configure it will take time so our floating IP address, uh, address is configured on secondary box. See here, changes is pending. So we'll create uh, for internal floating IP address. So this external is done. So for internal, we are you going to use this series? 
dot 10 IP and then you need to select your subnet and VLAN and then here allow default and then here floating IP address floating group we have only one and then press finish and then just go and update it to primary device so your uh, this floating IP address will be working so now you can check your connectivity and all so this should be working I hope uh, um, I have given my 100% here so if you like this video go and like and subscribe uh, if you have any query any question you can put there in uh, comment section okay okay this is already exist okay we have already configured this oh, 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 oh we did one mistake I think IP we have given once uh, this IP is given to that was my mistake okay see no 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 sorting IP address group one correct mostly we configured floating IP address this is called virtual IP address and need to configure here as a internal internal not external internal floating actually name I have given self that's the reason Then similar name it will not take so go here select floating allow default and then finish it will take some time I think we have crossed off oh. wait so here it is done external floating internal floating we have this one is internal floating IP address and this is external floating so now all internal user will be accessing this gateway it will work like gateway for them so that's it for this class thank you oh sorry uh, <laughs> I forgot to uh, this sync this box to primary sync this configuration to primary if you go to primary box you will not see those configuration because I have not synced them so if you go here what we have configured network self IP address is it should not be coming because we have done changes on uh, standby and it will not be serving any connection on floating IP address until or unless you sync so he, here you can see only three IP which we have configured but here it would be like more so go select your self IP address self and then sync it will take few seconds now <laughs> so now it is that uh, synced this box is in sync go here we'll do partitioning and all in next class for now I think we have already crossed this saving limit I mean recording limit it should not go more than 46 minute so I think this box uh, it should come now now in uh, active box all configuration what we have done in primary box it should be coming here so now you can see this floating IP address as well thank you thank you for watching this video I am going to upload this on YouTube if you like this video just like it and subscribe